these bulls, their job every day is to go and eat and then pr reproduce. That's their job. So, Sounds like the best job on earth. <laughs> I mean, I have half of that job. But... I'm here in Cameron, Texas at 44 Farms, producers of high quality Black Angus seed stock. 44 Farms doesn't produce beef for consumption. What they produce is semen and bulls that are then sold to produce Black Angus herds. I was lucky enough to get a tour from James Burks, the general manager, who showed me just how high quality seed stock is brought to market. So tell me about the history of this place, because it's been here since, quite a while, right? Since 1909, yeah, Bob's uh, great-grandparents started this uh, production agriculture in the Little River Bottom, where we're standing. They, they raised cattle and they also had uh, crops, row crops. It has evolved into where we are today, which is basically a uh, seed stock operation where we raise the seed stock for, uh, for the core group, for, for uh, herds all around the world. We're standing in a pasture that's about, I think this pasture is 60 acres. They got all the room in the world. If they're getting hassled by a buddy, they can walk 30 acres away. And like these guys over here, they, just, they want a little solitude. They went over and got them a little place. There's one laying there, kind of relaxed and kicked back. There's no difference in the way these guys was raised and the way they were raised back in the trailhead days. Right. You said that that has something to do with not stressing the animals. Can you talk about Stress that? Stress is everything in today's world. A uh, non-stressed animal is going to eat better. But you're also well not pumping do. them full of chemicals. No antibiotics. Oh, no. No, no antibiotics. Hormones. No. They don't get any implants. If they have to be treated with an antibiotic, then that tag is marked and he's out of the program. It won't end up in one of these restaurants and stuff that we sell all natural products to. Well, heck, let's go continue with the tour and we'll go look around some more. Sounds fantastic. Great, let's go. I've heard it several times. People have said that if they believed in reincarnation and they came back as a cow, they'd want to come back to 44. <laughs> right, if you had to be any cow on earth, this, this would, would be, be the, the place, place to, to be. It, right? Yeah. We set this up to be labor friendly. What you're looking at right here is a lane. This lane right here connects this ranch east and west. We can go to any pasture on this ranch, put them in that lane, and they'll walk all the way up that lane, all the way to that big barn in the bottom. Okay. By themselves. That's huge. Instead of standing there with a bull whip or something else, right. hollering go. We don't need to say go, they're gonna go. What's this guy all about? He's, uh, he's in, uh, Time out right now. Yeah, so he was uh, acting up a bit? He was acting up a little bit. The other 10 that was back here, they go off and do their own thing if you get the culprit out. Kind of like uh, Kent elementary school back there. Junior high is about right here, and high school is up there behind the cell bar. Gotcha. And so that's just... where they go to be sold. Right. These bulls that we're coming up on right here, these bulls will be the possibilities for the sale in October. These are what we call our bull condos right here. These are called condos because they're 140 feet long and they're 60 foot wide. That's a huge area for a bull to stay in his all the time. Yeah. yeah, It's like a bachelor pad. It is, exactly. And if you're in there, you're pretty special. So what are these guys called? This is uh, BR Genesis, 44 BR Genesis. He's the old man down here closest to us. And the guy on the other end is Ankeny and Wildfire. The first guy, BR Genesis, he's in retirement. Okay. And uh, he'll stay here until the day he passes. He just It's not a bad life. Very this... It's a great life for him. He's old. Uh, he's about 15 years old. 15 years old. But uh, now everything that Genesis made his last three years, all of his semen went to a stud in Brazil. Uh, Wildfire, he's about 11 years old, and he's still serviceable. And so all. he's still producing. Oh, absolutely. Hey, buddy. Hey, old man. Huh? Genetically, this is a great specimen. This is a great breed. specimen. This is a great specimen. This is the kind of bull that uh, people would definitely build your herd around. He's got all the structure and all. See how he's made back here? Right. All that. And of course, he's got the factory to go with it. This, this is a massive amount of muscle right here. Yeah, I know. It feels good, doesn't it? Can I get in there? Yeah, you can get Just kind of stand where I'm at here. Oh. Yep. Like I used to, I used to work security in nightclubs, and we had some pretty big bounces. But this is like something else. <laughs> this boy here bounce you in a hurry. This is the way we always end our tours. With this guy. This guy here. He's like yep. the mascot. Yep. James, thank you so much for the tour. Yes, it was really instructive. Thank you so much for watching. For more meat show, click here now. 
So when you come to Black's, you get a spirit in here and you get an atmosphere that is unlike any other place on earth.